Hi Aries, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We are going to go ahead and take a look at your April 2023 reading as we expand through the mid-month and transition into the new moon. So let's go ahead and begin for my powerful fiery Aries. We're going to take a, ooh, look at this, a king popping out here. If you are watching along, my um, my spread may look a little different to some of my regular viewers. We are going to expand on nine placements. So I hope you enjoy this new breakdown. Each placement is going to expand on different areas in your life. So we could look at life, love. We're looking at careers, advice, and everything in between. So let's go ahead and begin here. By the way, I'm curious to know, as a watcher here with the tarot or your horoscope reading, Aries, do you prefer to watch and multitask? Are you doing the dishes or working out, commuting to work, crafting? Maybe some of you are painting, relaxing on the couch. I'm always curious to know how people like to enjoy their tarot messages here. So let me know if you like to listen, but you're physically or actively doing something multitasking, or do you just like to fully engage and be connected and present by watching as well? I know a lot of you have said that my descriptions with the tarot have been very helpful, the way I describe the cards and how the images appear. All right, so Aries, let's go ahead and open up with your top row, okay? The top row has your King of Swords, your Four of Pentacles, and we have your Seven of Swords. If you're listening along, your middle row has the Eight of Cups, Queen of Cups, we have the Death card, and the third row is Six of Pentacles, the Mighty Magician, and we have the Three of Swords. So each card is going to be in a different placement, King of Swords, we are looking at your present situation and present strengths. So let's go ahead and begin there for you, Aries, for April 2023. Your current situation and your strengths. We are met here with the King of Swords paired with your Six of Wands. Now, your strengths lie in your power of your thoughts, power of your intentions, your ideas, and also being very direct and assertive. Not all, but some of you, I do see that you're very like a type personality. You're very, um, you want to cut out the fluff, right? The, unnecess the unnecessary things or unnecessary people. You're very just kind of like straightforward. And if you don't find your way to be that way, Aries, in this new month of April, there may be a situation or current um, scenarios where you're going to just be upfront and bold. You're, you're calling your shots, you're putting up boundaries, you're kind of proving your points or speaking to some type of truth that's going to get you ahead. It's going to lead you to some type of success. It's also going to show that you may get your way, okay? So your ideas, your vision, your goals, your determination, that's really what your strength is uh, expanding on with the King of Swords. This time is going to be very helpful to vocalize or to put out and project what it is that you believe in and stand behind it. Stand strong, stand firm, all right, Aries? And you may see success. Um, confidence too, having the confidence to go where no other man has gone before. <laughs> Now, in your second card placement, this is your area of challenge. In your area of challenge, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles has your clarifying energy of the devil energy. So your challenge, Aries, there is something here that you are just clutching and gripping so tightly and you are just not letting it go. Now, it could be you need to work through this obstacle because it's not as valuable as you think it is. It's not all what it's cracked up to be, or it's not as it appears um, to represent. 
Okay, because the devil energy is also very deceitful. It will show you what you want to see. It will tell you what you want to hear. It will also give you some type of satisfaction that's going to be short term. Okay, it's short term. <laughs> it's short term happiness that will turn into long term or a longer type of. Um, I don't want to say like pain, but like a setback. Because the devil, it will, you know, it will tempt you into doing something. But the majority of things that we are tempted by here in life does not lead to long-term satisfactions. The example I always give with temptations could be with fast food, with sugar, with any type of addiction, okay? It feels good in the moment, Aries, but when that high, if you will, or when that rush leaves, sometimes it leaves us feeling worse off than where we were at, especially when it comes to like poor diets, you know, fast food. I know with me, ooh, when I fall tempt, you know, tempted to buy those potato chips or those cookies, they taste good at the moment, but you know, my stomach's going to be hurting later on. So your challenge area, Aries, with the four pentacles is saying you need to look at releasing something possibly, but we'll get to your energy of release soon because the death card is in your area of release. But the four of pentacles, your challenge is to recognize maybe patterns, people, behaviors, um, or routines that you're sticking by but may need to be reevaluated. Hmm. Now, it could also be some type of physical matter here. You're clutching or you're holding on to something that you think has, again, more value than it really does. Whether it be friendships, maybe you're holding on to a physical material thing, and that could be what's keeping you back. Gotta let it go. Now, as we look at your area of growth, your third card placement is your growth and opportunity. We have your seven of swords paired with the hermit. So area of growth, there's knowledge, there's truth that's going to be coming across your path. The hermit taps into wisdom, okay, experience, but also seeing the light in an area that may have been, that may have kept you in the dark. And that's what the seven of swords represents as well. You discovering some type of lie, deceit, may, maybe some type of wrongdoing that you're realizing, hey, you know what, instead of something being used against you, you're going to take it and use it for yourself. So being that this is in your area of growth here, Aries, it could be your knowledge, okay? You're going to be, I mean, look at this, your strength, right? It's like you took these swords, if you're watching along, and you're applying it here as your strength. That sword energy taps into communication, or it could be education, resources, and knowledge as we look at the air element. So Maybe something that was told to you or something that you discovered, you're going to be able to apply it into your next path. So this has a great potential to set you up for something much better. Uh, the seven of swords, I also see here that you may be leaving and that could be the result of the growth that you're experiencing. You're leaving an area that did not provide growth or um, stability in some way. It did not leave you fulfilled. Um, and for some of you, you may have wanted to stay, but you found out that the way that that environment was, you were wronged. Okay, you were wronged in some way. You were done wrong, basically. And here the hermit is on this path seeking, seeking an alternative route, seeking another solution, seeking possibly, um, you know, new connections, new friends, new business opportunities, new job, um, new entertainment, whatever that path is that some of you are finding growth in. Your, oh, let me get here, clarifiers. For your second row, again, we're expanding on the Eight of Cups. We have your Queen of Cups and we have the Death card. So as we open up with your Eight of Cups, this is in your fourth card placement representing relationships relationships. Okay, let's see. Aries. Now, keep in mind when I say relationships, people automatically assume it has to be love. Where we have relationships with different types of people, okay? We have relationships with family, with friends, with clients, 
with, you know, just um, neighbors. It's any type of third party. Could be also a relationship with yourself. Okay. So here, the Eight of Cups... It's very interesting because as it's following after the seven, we see the seven and we're looking at the eight. Um, you may, I see three things coming in, Aries. Some of you, for number one, you're not feeling satisfied or fulfilled with maybe a romantic relationship or maybe someone that you deeply loved. It could be maybe you really loved your best friend and they didn't see you in the same way. Maybe you really loved your job, but they didn't treat you in the same way, right? Because I see it's one-sided. The other party that you were dealing with, they were taking, taking, taking and leaving you feeling empty. So that could be the motivation where in April, mid, uh, towards mid April, towards the end, you're going to be embracing a new path. Okay. Meeting new connections, reaching out to new people. Second message that I see coming in here with your relationships is that this could also be your relationship with self. Okay. You are now, some of you are, um, not only are you natural leaders with that fiery energy, Aries, but I do see that some of you may be in an industry or in a position of life where you are of service, whether you're a busy parent, maybe you're a spouse, a partner, um, maybe with your business. I see that you, again, you're in a position where you have given, 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 given. You always put this other thing before your health, Okay your, your well being, And now you're focusing on you. You are, you know, maybe going back to school. Maybe you are studying something new. You may be also working towards new goals that just make you feel alive, refreshed, energized, having ideas to also travel as I am sensing this air element. So the relationship with yourself, you could be strengthening. And then also the third message that I see here with relationships, um, in regards to your eight of cups, you could be in a space where at one point you did desire where you were at or what you were doing or who you're connecting with. And it's not to say that you're going to give up completely, especially for those that are creatives or maybe you're in this certain job industry or your personal hobbies or projects. It's not that you want to get rid of those altogether, but you may be finding that you need a new environment. Okay. You need a new environment or you want to switch something up. So your relationship with what you once loved, I feel like some of you, you still deeply have a love for it. It could even be a person, right? When you're in a relationship for so long, it could come off stale for some of you. You feel like, okay, we're doing the same thing all the time. Or you may be feeling like things aren't going your way. But interestingly enough, as it's under your king of swords, Aries, again, your strength to focus on this month is communication, right? Setting those boundaries, speaking up. And here we see the page of swords. So maybe some type of therapy, maybe seeking solutions, seeking help, um, something new a new approach, a new alternative, a fresh new lens that could um, kind of freshen things up a little bit, make it seem like new and exciting. Because, you know, it's interesting. If you're looking, following along, look closely here, Aries. You'll see the Eight of Cups. These two cards are from different decks, okay? But you notice how the clothes are similar, we see the red boots, the boots, the red cloak, the cloak, okay, even like the yellow or like the tan <laughs> leggings or tights. So this is you. This is showing that this is you still. The eight of cups, you're walking away, but ah, look, you're in a new path. Now you're uplifted. Now you're excited. I also see communication. Some of you with your relationship, it could be with your career, your job, you are maybe getting some type of news or information, or you may be hearing something from someone, receiving a phone call, receiving an email, a follow-up, where you are just up and leaving. You're like, okay, yeah, that's the confirmation I needed. And it's almost like the push that you needed to leave where you were at. Someone's coming in, sliding in, okay? And uh, reaching out with something that's going to leave you a lot more fulfilled or that you're gonna feel is gonna be better for your life or for your happiness. Okay, your fifth placement. This card is, the fifth placement is your career, money, 
and finances. The Queen of Cups, your clarifying energy is the Ten of Swords. So, there, this month, there's either going to be a situation unfolding where you're going to feel like secure. You're going to feel confident about maybe your financial situation. You're going to feel at ease mentally, maybe in this position or this job or this commission that you have because you're leaving the 10 of swords shows there's an ending. So there's an ending while the ending hurts. It was almost necessary for you to be at peace with this queen of cups. Hmm. Let me get some clarifiers. I'm kind of nosy when it comes to the finances. Let's see. What else do we need to know? Let me use the four Aries when we look at, let's see, Queen of Cups. What else do we need to know about the Queen of Cups? Because she's showing happiness and peace and fulfillment and purpose. Okay. It's almost like you find your purpose through a pain. Hmm. You could also be finding a solution to maybe someone else's pain. But the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups has a lot of empathy and sympathy as she is that water sign. So I'm sensing that some of you Aries, you may be in a position where you understand where other people are coming from, so you're going to help them or be of service or that's going to make you a better leader, a better owner, maybe a better um, boss or manager or even a better worker, right? It's because you you know how it felt to be like on the short end of the stick. For others too, I, Aries, this is, mm, again, you may have been wronged as it's diagonal from the seven of swords. So someone may have betrayed you. Someone may have lied, promised something that didn't come into um, manifestation or come you know, to pass. And you're very taken back by that and you're hurt. But through this pain, it's almost like, hmm, all right. It closed that door, but op opened up a better path, a better chapter for you. And you're like, oh, actually, this is a lot better for me. I'm glad this kind of didn't work out because this is bringing you more happiness. Ooh, look at this. Your other clarifier, double queen, okay? So the queen and queen. So this is like a perfect match for you, Aries. Perfect match, perfect partnership. The queen of wands, um, she also taps into creative freedom or flexibility, the freedom to be herself, to be authentic. In April, you may be finding that you are going to have more leeway, maybe with your creative vision, maybe with a position or a role that you're going to hold. It could be also, um, if you're looking for a new job, because again, this fifth card is your career finance or job placement, you may find that being yourself, your authentic self is highly encouraged versus where you maybe previously came from or where you were at. It's high energy too. So you may be in a higher position, higher pay. Uh, you may have better benefits. Treat like a queen, okay? What you may be experiencing is being treated like a queen. This could also tie into your financial, okay? Your financial situation. You're finding that you have more money to treat yourself. This month, maybe you got that bonus. Maybe you're getting more money, more pay. Maybe you're getting more commission. Um, maybe you're, you're building a healthy relationship with money because the queen of cups is under the four pentacles and you're kind of like letting go, not being irresponsible Aries, but you're saying, you know what? I, I should treat myself. Let me go to the salon. Let me get my hair, my nails done. You know, let me treat myself to a movie, a nice dinner. Let me get a new outfit. Be, um, it could even be like, you're just buying, you know, a nice new perfume or cologne for yourself. Because again, the queen of cups, she comes off as very confident, but at just at peace at, at ease, knowing that she'll be okay. She's going to be okay, and she is better off on this side than where she was at. Look, her back is even facing the Ten of Swords. Like, that's old news. That's her, the old path. But if it wasn't for this Ten of Swords, she wouldn't be in, in this throne, which is interesting for some of you. All right, your sixth card placement, what you need to release, Aries, we have the Death card. Isn't that so fitting? <laughs> Releasing the old, but look what's even more interesting, your clarifying energy is the fool. The fool is the start of the tarot cycle, okay? It's starting over again. 
So we end here with the death and then it starts all over again with the fool. So what you need to release could be, you know, you could be experiencing an end to a cycle, whether it comes to relationships, it could be an old version of you, Aries, the old life, okay? Because it's diagonal from the devil, an old habit, pattern, routine, addiction. It's like you're letting go like the old you in some way. And you're walking in with the new you. So this is good because as we look at release, things need to be released in order for us to accept the new, right? If you think about detoxing, the detox, something has to be released. The sweat, the tears, okay? In order for us to receive the health, the abundance, releasing of the old maybe connections, relationships, but then that leaves us free to accept new love, new relationships, new opportunities. Um, You could also, I do see, because of the environment, I, I was sensing like new environment. Some of you are also saying like goodbye to maybe what has been keeping you back from moving or traveling or transferring in some way. Because the queen of wands, she's also looking towards here. Almost saying like, yeah, let's move away from what we knew, getting out of your comfort zone and exploring. The fool's encouraging you to take that leap of faith, Aries. Take that leap of faith and explore the unknown. Do that thing that you've wanted. Go after what, you know, that happiness looks like for you at this time. Some of you know what this means. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look here at your third row before I pull your moon card. We have the six of pentacles, the magician, and the three of swords in your last row for Aries. Oh, I feel like these cards want to come out. Oh, look at that, double six of pentacles. Your seventh card placement is representing what you don't see coming what you don't see coming this is the six of pentacles comes out with the strength hmm interesting let me get clarifiers because what i see here is a karmic energy what you put out you receive what you receive you're also going to be putting back out to help others and isn't that interesting because that's what i was sensing here Remember with the queen of wands, not all, but some of you Aries, again, it's like you are going to gain something from a pain. Like you think about what you've gone through, what you've endured, but that pain somehow is going to gain you the platform to maybe discuss it, talk about it, help others. But let's see, let's see, let's get some clarifiers. The six of pentacles, what you don't see coming. I also, it, this could be someone else helping you, okay? Someone else is helping you being patient with the process, understanding, having that energy of um, kindness. You know, like I, I feel like someone's very kind and they're extending their help. Maybe they're they're loaning you money. There's some material thing that you're going to be gaining when you feel like you're in your lowest time. Now, interesting because it's under the eight of cups. So what you don't see coming is an energy where you are giving what you deserve but you're also giving or you're getting what you would give so when you think about a relationship friendship relationship business ship okay you are going to be the best that you can right you're going to be loving loyal dedicated punctual showing up on time you know being there when they call but some of you feel like you don't receive that in return but the six of pentacles what you don't see coming is you're going to be met with that equal energy you're going to be met with that equal energy strength that you give off here aries could be a friendship too like you are finally meeting a friend that puts out as much energy as you do like they dedicate their time it could be a relationship it could even be a job when we look at the pentacle energy maybe a job a client is paying you what you're worth they're willing to you know say yeah you're right that commission i'll pay that commission because they know that what you offer is valuable but that's why i want to get some clarifiers because it's kind of expanding in multiple ways here I know this is just a general um, reading for the for the new moon, but wow, there's a lot to unpack. 
So if you are listening along versus watching, this is a nice detailed read, isn't it? Ooh, Hierophant. Knight of Wands. Okay. Let's see. And then the Knight of Wands. If you're looking for a new position change, you may be getting that. Okay. You may be finding that someone sees your strengths and those strengths will be recognized and appreciated and you'll be compensated for that. If some of you are looking for relationships, looking for a new partner, that partner that you may be coming across in your path, which is interesting because look, the, <laughs> look at this. Okay. In your, in your eighth card placement that we're going to go over, the six of pentacles appears again. So it's like you are manifesting again, this equal karmic energy. So if you're looking for a new partner, you're going to come across someone that wants to give as much as you give. Maybe they're helping you with the bills, helping you with the kids. Maybe, you know, they are, they have just as many good qualities as you do. They love to cook. They love to help you out. They love to cuddle. Okay. It's like, they are everything that you want. They're your other half. You're, they are your better half, or maybe you are their better half, but it's like three and three equals six, right? It's like half. If you look at the scale, it shows a balance. So basically what you don't see coming is in a relationship or something that you're going to gain that you're going to feel like oh, this is fair. Okay. <laughs> like this is fair, but again, it's a karmic energy. So it may be indirect. Um, it may be that you've done some good in the past and now it's coming back and meeting you. Like you did a favor for someone maybe years ago and they're like, you know what, Aries, you help me out. Let me help you out. So it doesn't have to technically be like a present uh, energy. It could be something in the past that's coming now back into the future for you. So here, this is what you need to focus on. And interesting that the magician is coming up with the six of pentacles. So your area, your eighth card placement, Aries, what you need to focus on. This is the magician. The magician expands on focused intentions, manifestations, and also resources as above, so below. What you put out into your thoughts can become your reality. As we see here, they are reaching up into the air. Boom. Everything is produced into the physical realm. So what you need to focus on, if you are trying to make money, focus on what can you do to give value to others. If you're looking to manifest love, okay, how can you be the best partner? Or where do you think you can meet your ideal partner? Because that's maybe where they are at. If you're looking to advance with business or your education, okay, if you're trying to manifest something that will help you in your um, personal goals or your personal in endeavors, invest and apply in yourself. And that investment may be, again, reciprocated to you in some other way. So it's like you invest in yourself. When you invest in yourself, you're able to then help people. And then those people are then back able to help you. Okay. So if you think about being a doctor or I'll just use that thing, or being a teacher or professor or even a business owner, right? You invest in your education and through your education, you are able now to become that doctor. By you becoming a doctor, you are then able to help people. And then people are able to help you because they are paying you, okay? Or like the hospital is paying you. So it's, it's, like, it's a cycle. It's a cycle here. So Keith, also with the magician, we look at the wand. So your art, your creativity, it also goes into passion. What, are, what you are passionate about, Aries, it can grow and become something much bigger. So if you have a side hobby, a side project, but you are very, very passionate about it, it can turn into something that will produce results that you want. You just have to think about how can I be of service where people can receive my product or my vision, okay? How can I help them? When you help others, then others will want to help you. It's kind of like a universal law here. So um in your ninth card placement, we have advice from spirit. Interesting how the three of swords comes up because the three of swords has your clarifying energy of the five of cups, letting go. Okay. Mm, it looks like as painful as it may be 
because it's under also uh, the death card. Some of you may be experiencing a loss, a loss that your heart, it, it's hard for you to move on from. Um, some of you may still be dealing with it or going through healing. And, you know, I really feel for you because I understand how difficult that can be, especially when it struck a very hard, you know, deep chord. Some of you, um, a loss that you may be experiencing, it's very dear to your heart. It may have been a part of your life. It could be something that you were committed to and you're hoping that it was going to be a part of your path for years to come. But what's interesting being that this is in your advice situation, in your advice placement, the five of cups, if you look closely at this energy, even though, and it's interesting how these are three cups and these are three swords, right? Three and three. So even though what you are experiencing with this loss, as we see here with the three of cups, think about even though this water has spilled out, metaphorically or figuratively speaking, instead of crying over spilled milk, right? If you just mm, maybe, I don't want to say focus on something else, really the five of cups shows that staying stuck in the sadness will not change your situation. However, if you look around other blessings or opportunities in your life, you'll see that you're able to kind of bounce back or heal or recover faster by seeing that there are opportunities around you in life. So if you turn around here, Aries, you'll see that these two cups are waiting for you. They are waiting for you to then fill up the water again at the river. Okay, the river that's uh, represented here on the card. So the advice is for you, Aries, to not stay stuck on a, a, a hurt or a loss for too long because something here is coming quickly behind you that's going to help heal your heart or heal your emotional space where you feel connected and um, you're going to feel better about this. So let's pull your moon energy. See what you need to know here. For Aries, let's see, for Aries, what do you need to know, Aries? Aries. Oh, a new star is coming. All right, a new star is coming. Isn't that fitting how it's new moon and this reading is for the new moon in April, which I believe is April uh, like 19th. So, I mean, we saw that here with what you need to release. Aries, release the old and be ready and open and prepared to embrace the new. It could be new relationships, new love, new connections, new job, okay, new position, new home, new environment. Aries, I see there's a lot of things going on for multiple, you know, energies out there. Um, but everything kind of plugs into a new. The new, okay? New is coming. New start is coming. So anticipate that. It's a very, very strong energy that is radiating off of this card. Some of you may have not been prepared. You didn't think it was going to be time to, to, to start new. But some of you, you discovered, hey, this is my time due to certain situations. Some of you are realizing, hey, you know what? Why wait? Can't hold on to this forever. Some of you are exercising your strengths. Like, yeah, I got things to do. I got ideas that I want to expand on. I have the skills and the capability. I'm going to recognize, you know, my, my worth. Some of you are also left on E and you need your cups replenished, which we see here again with the five of cups. So thank you for tuning in Aries and I will see you in the next reading until then stay well and be blessed.